Today we're going to be taking a look at a rifle that I don't see talked about very much here in Modern Warfare Zombies. So today we're going to be taking a look at the STB556 from Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to be perfectly honest, I haven't used this thing very much in Modern Warfare Zombies at all since the launch of the game. Matter of fact, you're going to be seeing a lot of the camo challenges pop up during the gameplay. But I figured since we haven't really touched this thing hardly at all in Modern Warfare Zombies, let's try it out here in Season 4 and see how it's doing. Not only are we going to be doing a little bit of testing with this thing in every zone, but then we're also going to be going inside the original Elder Dark Ether. This is one I gotta say I wish I would have tried sooner because this thing slaps. With that, welcome on back to the channel everybody. If y'all don't know, my name is Ghost. I appreciate everybody that stops by the video today. If you're into zombies content or anything Call of Duty, rock the hell out of that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. Guys, we're getting so much closer to that 20,000 subscriber goal and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the crazy support lately. This was definitely a crazy run that we had here and I'm really glad that I finally took the time to check out this AR. I can't wait to get into everything about this run and this loadout after a brief word from today's sponsor. If you guys want to unlock the new mark of the survivor camo or possibly even any of those get higher camos here in modern warfare 3 you really just don't have the time to put in to get these challenges done well then be sure to check out mitch cactus they're the biggest and most reliable sellers with heaps of brand new offerings for mw3 with completely safe and legitimate services for xbox playstation and pc and with all the great reviews on trustpilot you guys should definitely check them out be sure to use code real g for five percent off your entire order for a limited time only now, this one came as quite a surprise to me guys i remember trying this thing out i do believe it was in like season one maybe even season two and i don't remember being very impressed with it after looking at how many kills that i had i was like yep i've definitely only used this thing like once i figured it was time that we come back in here and test it out today and i'm damn glad that i did because this thing held its own wherever i went even before putting an ether tool on it or pack a punching it at all it was having no problem killing zombies in the first tier zone once we put on our ether tool and our pack a punch crystal we were easily able to go and take care of those hvts in the second tier zone unfortunately we weren't able to get any hvts in the red tier zone because there was just way too many people out there and i'm sure you guys know how it is trying to grab contracts sometimes we were easily able to just hang out comfortably and do the outlast contract in there this thing just deletes those red tier zone zombies without an issue whatsoever i just realized while i was recording this voiceover that i forgot to put in the mega abomination clip i wasn't too impressed with at the speed that this thing killed the mega abomination but it was able to get it done but now we are here inside of the elder dark ether and this one can be just a little bit of a pain in the ass we got mega Mega abominations walking around everywhere. Decided to go for the escort contract first just to get this one out of the way, done and over with. Now, I usually end up doing this one last, but hey, good to switch things up every once in a while. Now, I did bring in an ammo mod specifically for this part because usually there is a deadbolt turret that is right at the end where this thing stops first, and unfortunately, it wasn't there for me this time. So it was kind of SOL, and I'm really glad that I brought in those monkey bombs. I don't know about you guys, but the hardest parts on this contract for me is usually that very first stop that usually either puts me down once or twice and then the other hardest part is going to be the last stop now if you get lucky with that deadbolt turret here and if you bring in one of those ammo mods it'll make this section a whole of a hell of a lot easier now i also do have a trick for the very last section of this escort mission because i know that right at the very end at that very last stop absolute all hell breaks loose and they throw everything at you that this game has to offer pretty much this stb was handling itself in here very well already i mean we were deleting a lot of the zombies that were around the acv plus getting rid of like the mimics and stuff really easy we're struggling with the mega abominations just a little bit but like i said towards the end we had a solution once this acv reaches its third and final stop what you're going to want to do is hop off of the thing and then take the zip line up the wall and then sit on top of the wall and just shoot down at the acv with the vr11 now for the majority the most of the zombies will be distracted trying to destroy your acv so you won't have to really worry about too many of them following you up there but they will try to throw some meat at you but just be careful and really be watching the health of your acv because they can blow up this thing really fast as long as you got plenty of ammo and just continuously shoot down at this thing you guys really shouldn't have any problem notice i did have to move just a little bit on the wall because they were throwing meat at me but it wasn't that big of an issue now i do gotta say as a solo player this is probably one of the harder contracts to complete inside of the dark ether but i do gotta say with just a little bit of practice bring in the vr11 put a sentry gun on top of the acv maybe bring in a couple extra decoys maybe some monkey bombs cashmere's whatever you think you're gonna need to make yourself feel a little bit more comfortable and you guys got this another thing that i would very very highly recommend for solo players is rock ether shroud i see a lot of people trying to do things like the energy mines and stuff like that now, while those can be powerful and useful they do take a little while to charge up and they don't cover up as wide of an area it's just smarter if you can rock something they can just completely get you out of a sticky situation frenzied guard can also be a pretty good pick but i would recommend that for the little bit more highly skilled players well i absolutely love ether shroud 
I cannot tell you how many times this thing has saved my life. One of the other really cool things about this Dark Aether over the other ones is that if you came into the Elder Dark Aether inside of this one, you were guaranteed those schematics that were tied to this Dark Aether. Now, it didn't matter what order that you completed them in, but your first contract would always give you the Dogbone schematic, the second contract would always give you the Golden Armor, and the third contract would always give you the Aether Blade. As long as you could finish all three contracts inside of the Elder Dark Aether, you were always guaranteed those schematics. Now, inside of the new ones like Season 2 and Season 3, the schematics aren't guaranteed, and sometimes you have to make multiple runs inside of these things before you'll end up getting all of the schematics, which can be a little bit of a pain sometimes. So I do think that's one thing that this Dark Aether had going for it over the other ones. The loot out of that first contract wasn't too bad. We ended up getting an Aether Blade, we got a Elder Sigil, and then we got that, of course, Dogbone Schematic. Now it's off to do our Aether Extractors, which I actually suffered a down trying to attempt to do the second one. Luckily, we were able to pull this thing together and it all went over smoothly. You know me and my past with these Aether Extractors, man, we've definitely had some rough times. Just absolute glitches and bugs and me raging and losing all my stuff, and yeah, it's just not a good time. So I'm kind of glad that they fixed some of those things. But it is unfortunate that, like, the tap to interact glitch is still there for some people. Now, if you guys do still have that glitch with the tap to interact, just go into your settings and change it from prioritize interact to prioritize reload. That should fix the glitch for you. Now, I will warn you, it will take just an extra second because you do have to hold the button down, but hey, at least you won't be getting stuck to the thing or glitched out anymore. Of course, we only got a dog bone out of that contract, so now it's over to do our last contract, and in our last contract, I do gotta say, this STB actually held its own really well in here. I did set up a sentry gun to help me out, but I'm sure if you guys know, being inside of the Elder Dark Aether in here, especially when you're solo, it is definitely absolutely no joke. I'm just really glad that they didn't spawn the Mega Abomination in here, because that's happened to me a couple times, and that is definitely no fun. But yeah, guys, the power behind this AR is really good. I mean, I was wandering around inside of this Outlast contract pretty confidently. I say that ever so slightly hesitantly because, yes, I was able to complete it, but I did have to do a lot of jumping over railings and kind of running from zombies here and there. Definitely couldn't just stay planted and take out absolutely everything that's coming towards you, but hey, that is most guns in the game, to be honest. We're going to be sitting on 605 rounds with MAGA holding and the largest MAGA equipped, so not too terrible on the ammo, but it could be a little bit better. But if you do have yourself either an epic or a legendary ether tool to slap on this thing, I would say that you guys would be comfortable doing anything inside of the red tier zone or coming into the dark ethers. Now, if you are doing the season two reloaded dark ether, I would maybe advise you guys to bring in a jug because you might have a little bit of difficulties taking on the HVT. So, could be slightly better with bosses, absolutely slay zombies, can do anything that you really want it to. Only two things I really wouldn't advise you guys to try with this AR, particularly by itself, would be fighting the red worm or trying the unstable rift. If you don't have anything else, you might find yourself just out of luck. Look at that, guys. We ended up getting another ether blade out of that contract, one of my favorite acquisitions, so I'll definitely take that. The loot out of this run was definitely not too terrible, and I'm definitely glad I came in here. Coming out with a legendary ether tool, two ether blades, we got a dog bone, we got a wonder waff, a ray gun case. Definitely not too terrible. I'm gonna throw that loadout up on the screen right here for anybody that wants to check it out again. I highly do appreciate anybody that took the time to watch the video. And please drop a like on it if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if anybody is new. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one.